Welcome to the brand new Elm class. I, Mrs Clark, will be moving up with the pupils into year six and we will also be joined by Mrs Baker. Our daily routine will follow a similar schedule to last year with maths and English every morning, in addition to an array of subjects spanning the week. All subjects will be taught separately and weekly. These will include science, RE, PE, art and design technology, which will alternate per half term, music, ICT, French, PSHE and topic which will include history and geography focuses. In addition, pupils will continue with daily maths, simmering skills and quiet reading. Home link books will be checked every morning, so make good use of these to pass on any communications with me. If you would like to arrange to come in and see me about anything more urgent, then you can also request an appointment through the home link book. As always, the curriculum will be filled with enrichment opportunities and wow days throughout the year to enhance the learning experiences of the pupils. This will take the form of guest speakers, investigations of real artefacts, as you can see in the picture, topic related trips and art or DT days. Of course, you will receive information about any upcoming trips or events prior to the day so that you have plenty of time to plan and where necessary make payment. These experiences will run in addition to regular school enrichment such as Maths Cafe. We have some really exciting topics planned for Year 6, which will include Sahara, Hot and Cold Desert, Plague, Pox and Antibiotics, Normans, Parliament and Democracy, World War II, the Blitz, and a local study. We will endeavour to plan trips and visits and visitors throughout the year to further enhance pupils' knowledge within these topics. Reading will continue to form the basis of all learning. Guided reading will be incorporated into each English unit and pupils will be encouraged to participate in shared reading throughout the curriculum. The school library will continue to open before school from 8.45 till 9am and children can access this unaccompanied as staff will supervise the area. As per year five, pupils will be allowed to choose their own reading books but will be encouraged to read age and ability appropriate texts. We will continue with the reading reward scheme in year six to encourage pupils to read regularly. This year, pupils will record their reading in their home link books. There will be a space for them to keep a daily record of where they have read to and give a brief description of what they have read during that session to support comprehension and understanding of the text. Once pupils have completed their part in the reading record, parents can sign to confirm what and when their child has read. This will then equate to stamps on their reading chart in school and awards for continued reading. All aspects of the maths curriculum will be covered throughout the year, including number, geometry, measurement, statistics and problem solving. By adopting the mastery approach in the daily maths lessons, which includes using concrete equipment such as base 10, place value counters and charts, number lines and times table squares, pictorial representations of the concrete apparatus and then translating these tools into written number form, the maths curriculum will continue to be accessible to all pupils regardless of ability. Maths will be taught daily in the morning and pupils will also have daily simmering sessions in the afternoon where they will revisit and practice basic skills to support their understanding and application of new skills taught within the curriculum. Maths homework will be set once a week and will take the form of either further practice of a new concept or a, or a revision of a range of skills taught previously. Our school Christian values of trust, love, respect, friendship, compassion, forgiveness and courage are embedded in everything we teach and everything we do, both within the classroom and throughout the school. As well as being a set of Christian values, they are also a solid set of values for pupils to live and work by, to guide them in upholding excellent behaviour and conduct. As well as our Christian values, we nurture pupils' personal skills of perseverance, concentration, commitment, self-reliance and teamwork. Through these values and positive feedback, we hope to reinforce positive behaviours both inside and outside of the classroom. The introduction of the house system has given pupils an opportunity to demonstrate their teamwork values as they strive towards a common goal of winning the house cup through achieving house points as well as taking part in a range of house activities. The award of congratulations postcards will continue to reinforce the positive working ethos. As always, we will continue to monitor and assess pupils' learning and understanding in a variety of ways and using a variety of methods, not only through testing, but through quizzes, question and answer, pupil-led presentations and written pieces, to name a few. There will be no formal assessments carried out until the end of the first half term, as pupils will still be adjusting to returning to school, both after the school closure and the summer break. 
Obviously, this year is an important year for ELM class as they will be sitting their SATs in May and completing teacher-assessed written pieces into June. But as with all year groups, there will be a clear focus on ensuring that all pupils cover and have access to any learning that they may have missed during the school closures and that all content is covered and amalgamated with the Year 6 curriculum also. As in Year 5, pupils will be expected to complete 30 minutes of homework per night. This should include reading and spelling practice, as well as other weekly homework that has been set. Maths and English will be set once a week, every week. A topic project will be set at the start of each half term, and one other subject will be set each week. This may take the form of a smaller science project or a piece of French work, as an example. It is important this year that pupils find a good balance of routine and focus with their homework in order to prepare for high school. This means that they may not, for example, complete their English or maths homework in one night, as once they have spent 10 minutes reading and 5 minutes practising their spellings, they will have 15 minutes left to tackle another subject. Pupils should be encouraged to take their time over their homework, and once completed, check through what they have done, as they would in school. Homework should also follow the school presentation expectations. I'm delighted that we will be continuing to use Seesaw to set homework from September 2020, as this will allow me to give clear homework instructions and the pupils an opportunity to complete work online, if they find it easier to do that. All pupils will be provided with a printed copy of the homework, as well as the activity being set on Seesaw, and they may choose to upload their work using the online forum or hand the work in on the printed sheet. The school uniform list can be found on the school website and as per year five, pupils in Upper Key Stage 2 will wear the school clip-on tie and knitted v-neck jumper. PE kit is required to be in school every day and clearly named, but as the pupils are maturing now, they will be encouraged to take their PE kit home to be washed on a Friday, ready to be back in school the following Monday. Please also ensure that your child has a separate pair of PE socks to change into and out of, which should be navy as per the PE kit uniform list. Pupils will require jogging bottoms and a long-sleeved jumper, as well as their shorts and white PE top, as we will be going outside for PE in the winter months. These should be navy and as plain, i.e. without logos, as possible. For those who have their ears pierced, earrings should be removed for PE as pupils are older and taller now. It is much safer than covering with tape. It might be a good idea to include a small purse or a pouch in their PE bag so that earrings can be safely stored during PE lessons. School communications will continue to take the form of messages in the home link book, text messages and emails, plus the regular school newsletter. Should you have any worries or concerns, then please do get in contact through the usual channels, i.e. the home link book or via email, and where necessary, make an appointment to meet with me. However, communications should not just be limited to worries or concerns, as I love to hear about pupils' achievements outside of school. And particularly at this age, pupils are often less forthcoming with sharing their own achievements. I hope you have found this presentation helpful and that it has answered any questions that you might have had. If you have any further questions that have not been answered, please do email the school office, where Mrs Cross will either answer directly or pass your question on to the relevant member of staff. Myself and Mrs Baker are really looking forward to working with you over the next academic year and getting to know your child even better.